African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC-3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 22nd of May, 2024. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the Special Military Operation. As a result of active actions, units of the North Group of Forces advanced to the depth of the enemy's defenses and inflicted losses on manpower and hardware of the armed forces of Ukraine 3rd Tank Brigade and 57th Motorized Infantry Brigade near Volchanska Kutora, Belai Kalides, and Petropavlovka, Kharkov region. Three counterattacks launched by the enemy's assault detachments were repelled near Volchansk and Lipsy, Kharkov region. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up 255 Ukrainian troops and seven motor vehicles. In the course of counter-battery warfare, one 122mm Grad MLRS combat vehicle, one 152mm Akatsiya self-propelled artillery system, one U.S.-made 155mm M777 howitzer, one U.S.-made 105mm M119 howitzer, one 100mm Rapper anti-tank gun, and two U.S.-made and slash TPQ-50 counter-battery warfare stations were neutralized. Units of the West Group of Forces improved the tactical situation along the front line and inflicted losses on formations of the Armed Forces of Ukraine's 66th Mechanized Brigade and 106th Territorial Defense Brigade near Makievka, Lugansk People's Republic, and Ivanovka, Donetsk People's Republic. One counterattack launched by the Armed Forces of Ukraine Assault Detachment was repelled near Grigorovka, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 130 Ukrainian troops and two motor vehicles. In the course of counter-battery warfare, one Polish-made 155mm Crab self-propelled artillery system, one UK-made 155mm FH-70 towed howitzer, and two US-made 155mm M198 howitzers were neutralized. As a result of active actions, units of the Southern Group of Forces liberated Kleschievka, Donetsk People's Republic. Moreover, losses were inflicted on manpower and hardware of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 33rd Mechanized Brigade, 79th Air Assault Brigade, and 116th Territorial Defense Brigade near Georgievka, Ostroy, and Konstantinovka, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to more than 365 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, 18 motor vehicles, one 152mm D-20 howitzer, one 122mm D-30 howitzer, one U.S.-made 105mm M-119 howitzer, and one U.K.-made 105mm L-119 howitzer. Units of the Center Group of Forces improved the tactical situation along the front line, as well as inflicted losses on formations of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 24th, 100th Mechanized Brigades, 68th Jaeger Brigade, and 71st Infantry Brigade near Semyonovka, Sokol, Novgorodskoy, and Karlovka, Donetsk People's Republic. Seven counterattacks launched by assault detachments of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 47th, 110th Mechanized Brigades, 142nd, and 143rd Infantry Brigades were repelled near Arkhangelskoy, Netelovo, Solovivo, and Umanskoy, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 420 Ukrainian troops, three armored fighting vehicles, including one German-made Martyr Infantry fighting vehicle, three motor vehicles, one 122mm D-30 howitzer, and two U.S.-made 105mm M-119 howitzers. Units of the Vostok Group of Forces took more advantageous lines and inflicted losses on manpower and hardware of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 58th Motorized Infantry Brigade and 128th Territorial Defense Brigade near Prechestovka, Velikaya Novosyolka, and Neskutsnoy, Donetsk People's Republic. 
One counterattack launched by an assault detachment of the armed forces of Ukraine's 72nd Mechanized Brigade was repelled near Vladimirovka, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 125 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, six motor vehicles, one Polish-made 155mm self-propelled artillery system, one UK-made 155mm FH-70 towed howitzer, one 152mm Akatsiya self-propelled artillery system, and one 122mm Gvostika self-propelled artillery system. Units of the Dnieper Group of Forces inflicted losses on manpower and hardware of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 35th Marines Brigade, 65th Mechanized Brigade, and 126th Territorial Defense Brigade near Novoandriivka, Zaporizhia region, and Tyajinka, Kherson region. The Armed Forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 35 Ukrainian troops, 7 motor vehicles, 2 U.S.-made 155mm M777 howitzers, one 152mm B howitzer, and one 152mm D-20 howitzer. Operational tactical aviation, unmanned aerial vehicles, missile troops, and artillery of the Russian groups of forces destroyed two armed forces of Ukraine ammunition depots, as well as engaged armed forces of Ukraine manpower and hardware clusters in 102 areas during the day. Air defense units shot down 34 unmanned aerial vehicles, two French-made hammer-guided aerial bombs, and one U.S.-made Mars MLRS projectile. In total, 601 airplanes and 274 helicopters, 24,498 unmanned aerial vehicles, 523 air defense missile systems, 16,121 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles. 1,307 combat vehicles equipped with MLRS, 9,740 field artillery guns and mortars, as well as 21,915 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.